Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday to everyone. Today is November 27th, 2011. And today's quick tip is going to be a Mac only tip. Okay, so just letting you know before you keep on watching. So, today's tip is based around performance on your Macintosh. Now here comes a question. Have you ever been watching uh, YouTube videos or Vimeo videos and uh, you have your laptop on your lap and then after a while it gets super hot and it's, it comes to the, uh, to the point where it starts kind of to burn you, you know, it kind of burns your, your lap and basically your, your computer is super hot. Now that's not cool, of course not, and uh, there is actually one solution for that and it's pretty cool and uh, I'll let you know what it is and uh, yeah well let's get started this program is called SMC fan control and you could download it from their website I'll post a link in the description just go to their website or Google it even and uh, click on the first link and once you click on the first link just uh, download that program it's called SMC fan control okay cool now what does that program have to do with anything well basically if your Macintosh is Intel and uh, if it's a Macintosh computer it doesn't have to necessarily be a laptop it could be an iMac it could be even a Mac Pro just as long as they have an Intel processor then you can control the speed of your fans using this program now let me give you five reasons why I like this program number one is it's free now this program is free to download so you just go to the website click on the link download it the second reason is that you have total control of your fans which is pretty cool and basically if um, let's say you're watching a YouTube video or you're editing or or you know basically you're doing something uh, CPU intensive you could crank up the fans because they're going to crank up anyway just crank up the fans to the max and go ahead and edit in your you know you could sit comfortably in your couch and start editing or you know just browse so you know basically you have the guarantee of not getting up from your seat because uh, the computer won't get hot the third reason is how this program is super safe it's don't worry about cranking up your fans or cranking them down uh, this program has two functions the first function is the default function and basically that is your computer's normal speed now if don't worry if you set it at a low setting for fans let's say uh, you put 2900 rpms on your heart on your uh, fans to spin uh, don't worry if your CPU needs power it would automatically crank up to 6,000 or 4,000 rpms don't worry about uh, you know that don't the fans won't stay at the minimum setting so that way your computer won't burn up so it's pretty safe and also well the fourth reason is kinda of, I guess linked to the third reason and it's if you you know crank up your fans to the maximum which is I, th I think it's uh, 6200 then your computer will perform much I don't know why but I saw this significant boost it will perform a bit faster it will export a bit faster and it will you know basically perform overall better now you have to sacrifice one thing though and that is a little bit of noise because there is some noise from these fans uh, whenever you crank them up so um, that would be I guess your choice if you are wearing headphones or headphones uh, basically if you want to sacrifice a little bit of noise just you know put on your headphones start editing you won't even hear the fans as long as you have good ones so that's those are the four reasons and finally my fifth reason on why I love this program is because it tells you a live reading on your menu bar so as you can tell right here let's go back to my desktop if you see this choice here oh well not choice but this uh, icon I guess in the menu bar you could see the temperature of your Mac and also you can see the RPM in which the fans are spinning momentarily so if we click on this you could go to active default setting active settings and you could you know go to higher RPM or choose default you can also go to preferences here you could donate to them and you could see you know 
some facts, homepage, some licenses, and you could even quit it if you don't want to use this anymore. So that's pretty cool. You could do everything in one menu. And you know, just a little um, reminder is if you go to preferences, you um, have two ways of seeing your temperature. If you are in the United States, then you know you want to see it in Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. If you're outside of the United States and you're kind of used to Celsius, just go ahead and click Celsius and you'll find it once you click save. So it's pretty cool and it has some options here. All right, now let me cancel that. I like that. So it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I recommend this program to anyone who's running on a Mac. Don't worry about it. There will be no performance loss whatsoever. It's safe. It's a safe program. You don't have to. Don't worry. I've used this for over a year now, and uh, you know I've been turning it on and off and on and off, and nothing has happened to my Mac. I haven't even vi visited the Genius Bar at all. So you can ensure yourself that this is a good program. It's been tested significantly, and there have been no complaints so far. So anyway, just go ahead and download. I'll provide a description down below, and you can also. Uh, Go to the website if you'd like to maybe see some reviews, and you know, it's free, so why not download it? Anyway, this was Jody, and uh, I hope everyone has a happy Sunday. Just want to make a few announcements before I leave. First of all, is uh, check out my previous video. That's uh, where I talk about uh, how to delete something from Photoshop, which is pretty cool, you know, uh, using Photoshop, my bad. Um, you could delete anything you want in your pictures and you know co there's a new feature in Photoshop called content aware you could uh, just delete it and it will replace the image that you deleted with something else you have to check out that video it's pretty cool really quick and uh, it's actually a quick tip also uh, stay tuned for tomorrow tomorrow is Monday so VFX Monday Tomorrow what we're going to cover is something pretty cool that a lot of people have questions on and uh, it's going to be really cool. So stay tuned and make sure to stay subscribed and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below or send me an email. You know where. Alright, thank you very much and I hope you have a great day.